saw something that I didn't like as Draymond Green announces that he's stepping away from the Golden State Warriors during a pretty much 45-minute long apology that he did at a presser, apologizing not only to Jordan Poole, but the Golden State Warriors as a franchise. So I told you guys that I dibble and dabble with the sports content that I watch. Every now and then, I'll tune into a show called First Things First that currently has Chris Broussard, Kevin Wiles, and none other than old Nick Wright on it. I saw Nick Wright tweet something out, and he also spoke about this on the show. Let's read this tweet about old Draymond. Draymond tweeted Tuesday that he just interviewed Pat Bev and that the pod was dropping Thursday. Cricket since then. Didn't even release the pod. New media, old media, whatever media you are, at some point you got to address what you did because you just can't go radio silent. That's again from Nick Wright on Draymond. Let me explain to you why I think that is a ridiculous thing to say to uh, Draymond from Nick Wright. I think Nick Wright is ridiculous for that. Look, this is your boy we're talking about. This Pharaoh, I call it how I see it. Now, Nick Wright and Draymond, they've been going back and forth for months about old media versus new media. And to be fair, Draymond did, to the best of my knowledge, start this stuff. And I have been critical of what Draymond did to Jordan Poole. He deserves the most blame. Look, it's, it's about Draymond. I've been critical. If you watch my videos this week, you know that. But in this scenario, I'm actually going to take up for Draymond in this one regard. Nick Wright saying Draymond should speak about a private matter immediately is something that I don't agree with. And it's something that Nick Wright shouldn't agree with because when there was fire in his own backyard, it's been, I'm going to use his term, crickets. For years now. See, I'm one of these guys. I I have my own platform. I do my thing. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I'm only 28. I'm only getting better, baby. I'm only getting better with time, just like wine. But I like watching other people. And, and FS1 has some, some players that I like to watch, right? I like Colin Coward. I would love to work with Colin Coward one day. I, I like what Shannon Sharp represents with Undisputed. Give Skip Bayless credit for finding that, that type of talent again. And then I like Chris Boussard. And I think Nick Wright, if nothing else, got an opinion that's polarizing. I think he's going to be in the business in some capacity for a very long time. But the show first things first. You know, there was another rendition of this show. It wasn't always Kevin Wilds, Chris Boussard, and Nick Wright, right? Remember? Remember that was like another crew. I know Jenna just, her contract recently expired. It was Jenna, it was Nick, and it was somebody else. It was some guy. He was, like, really good at football. Like, like almost like, it was, I think, uh, oh, he was a Hall of Famer. Remember Chris Carter a few years ago was a part of the original version of First Things First? Remember how just one day there was an apparent argument or something and we never heard anything about it? Well, in my world, what happened then with First Things First and what happened with Draymond Green last week with Jordan Poole and the Golden State Warriors, are they're very similar. So if anybody should understand why Draymond decided to take his time and address something that's not on the court related, meaning this is embarrassing, this is something that was supposed to kept, be kept internal if not for somebody leaking video out if anybody should understand that wouldn't it be nick wright we ain't heard a word from nick wright since chris carter left that show as a matter of fact he won't do an interview that puts him in the place to address what happened to chris carter you don't care how many times you go on dan patrick and colin show he won't go talk about what happened with Chris Carter. And I'm not even saying that he has to. What I'm saying is he should definitely have more grace for a person that didn't run to the podcast and talk about something that wasn't supposed to reach the public. Him trying to compare Draymond talking about other teams, talking about free agent signings, whatever the case may be on his podcast, and Draymond 
remaining quote unquote radio silent for 48 hours as he released a statement with the beginning of the season for Draymond now in jeopardy because of his ridiculous childish actions to Jordan Poole at their practice. Those are not the same. Don't tell me Draymond is afraid of a loss. I watched that brother get on that podcast many times a few months ago in the postseason. And just like when the Warriors won, he got on there and talked immediately after when the Warriors lost. So I know he could take a loss. This was different from a loss. He not only embarrassed himself, he embarrassed other people. And his job, I'm assuming, is somewhat not in the greatest of versions. Wouldn't that be similar to whatever happened with Chris Carter? Whatever happened, we don't know specifically. But keep in perspective, Chris Carter maybe embarrassed himself, maybe embarrassed FS1. Somebody maybe was embarrassed about the Chris Carter situation, and Nick Wright tucked it. I'm not saying Nick Wright's got to address what happened. I'm just saying have a little more grace for Draymond Green in this situation. There is a lot of parallels to Nick Wright and what happened with first things first to what Draymond, you know, it took him 48 hours. He didn't wait forever. It just took him a couple days to gather himself and release a statement. I got this thing about media, right? And I want to be clear with you guys who I am. I'm 28. I used to work at the Worldwide Leader at Sports. I'm forever grateful. Ironically, I used to work with Chris Carter. I was an intern, but I, I remember meeting Chris Carter in the hallways a couple times, right? The, the thing that I don't like with media, I got this weird takes. A lot of people won't agree with me. It's fine. But for those who that rock with me, hear me out here. So media, especially at that level with first things first, not counting people's salary dollar for dollar, but it didn't take a rocket science to realize that there's probably a good amount of money being made over there for, with first things first. Media wants to act like we make money like regular people at, 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 at regular jobs, nine to five. And I don't believe that. I am blessed to be in the position that I am. Now, I'm not making first things first money. But, I mean, what, what, what y'all want me to get in numbers? Like, Nick Wright's, I'm assuming, to be a seven-figure guy. I, I mean, I'm low six with what I do. I'm just, I'm just being honest right now. So, like, if, if we're talking about responsibility to the people, just because media believes athletes owe the most responsibility to address things because they're way, making hundreds of million dollars, a lot of them, 40s or 50s or 60s a million dollars, to me that doesn't mean media don't address anything. Because you're still making money. If you're making a, a if if you're at seven figures, I believe the public deserves a statement on why one third of a show that you are on no longer is there and never came back and never addressed it and you never addressed it. And if you don't want to address that, then have a little more grace for a guy that's making a lot of money as well, not wanting to address something on his podcast immediately because this is a very unique. An embarrassing scenario. That's my thing. Now, I think that's a hot take. I think that bad boy is fresh off the press. You hearing that? First things first. <laughs> yeah, man, I just don't like when we don't have grace for others, man. I, like, when I start to make more money in this space, more money, and I plan to make a lot of money. All right, that's my plan. That's my goal, God willing. I have an obligation to the people to either address something or have grace for people when they opt not to address something that doesn't seem to be public. Like, if I'm having problems in my marriage down the line, right, that won't affect the show, not with me at least. You ain't going to get a bad product. Even if I were having products, uh, uh, try problems with my marriage or, or with a friend, a close friend, you ain't gonna, it ain't going to affect the show. That's, that's not how I'm built. I'm going to still give y'all the best of me no matter what. But... If I lose a producer on a show down the line, or if I lose, that might be something worth addressing to the people. Or if I lose a co-host, that might be something worth addressing to the people. Or again, if I'm not going to address it, then at least have grace when a similar situation happens. I just want to have some grace for Draymond right there. I don't think that was right from Nick. I, I don't think that one was right at all, man. Again, first thing first, I think it's doing a, a pretty decent job. I, I watch the clips from every now and then, but I, I, didn't, I didn't like that one from Nick right. I thought he was... Nick wrong in that regard.